Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ronan Vico. In this video, we're going to create together an automation in Power Automate Cloudflow to send emails that are scheduled. So how to do it? First thing that we need to have here is to have a SharePoint list and I already created so we will not waste time on that. I have a recipients column, text column, uh, subject text column, HTML, multiple lines of text where we're going to insert the HTML that we want to send. Attachments, that is the default column from SharePoint list. You don't need to create it. You already have it, right? A sent column where we're going to mark up if the email is already sent or not. And we need here the schedule date. For that, I suggest you to have a date and time with just the date where we're going to save the date of this emails. So date to send without the time, okay? Without the time. And if you want to have a time, exactly time, for example, at, at the date 14 of February at 9 and 30, I want to send that email. I can create here two columns, hour and minute of that email. It's easiest to, to have two columns for hour and the minute instead of having a date and time column. Why that, Ronan? Because using your data filter with date and time, it's pretty hard. So I suggest you to have date to send. And if you, you need to, to send all the emails on the same date, it's easy. For example, the automation runs 9 a.m. At 9 a.m., we send all the, all the emails from the date. But if you need an exactly hour and minute, you can create here two columns named hour, hour to send. For example, you can use any name that you want and minutes, minutes to send. Now I can search here some emails, for example. I can add a new item. So the recipients that I want to send that email, subject of the email, the HTML body, the custom HTML body that you want, for example, H1, hello world. And the date to send, I'm going to insert the two days date. And if you want, you can insert the hour and the exactly minute, for example. Now that I'm re recording this video in my country, it's two. PM. So I'm going to insert here exactly the hour. So I'm going to insert uh, not using AM and PM. I think that is the best way. So 14, it's the hour and exactly minute. I'm going to change that later, but I'm going to insert here the minute. So what I have here, it's that exactly email that I want to send in this date, that hour in that minute. So at 4 and 30 okay when you have this table so let, let's insert another row here so just to be clear i'm going to copy all of that paste here and chant here the minutes and also add some attachments i can have attachments here right so i plug upload the two attachments here for that row and now we're going to go to the power out my cloud flow and create this automation for that just access the Power Automate and go to Scheduled Cloud Flow. I'm going to use the Scheduled Cloud Flow because I want to every minute, every minute check on the SharePoint list and see if I have one email scheduled to send. So the name is going to be Send Emails on SharePoint List Scheduled. And I'm going to create. The recurrence is going to be every minute and i'm going to insert my time zone here okay but you're going to insert your own time zone and after that i want to get the date and time of the recurrence running so what is the date and time Be because i need the date and time to filter this date this hour and this minute right it's pretty pretty simple to understand so i can get here the utc function so i can i can use the compose in that compose i can insert for example the utc now 
But like I said, I have my uh, time zone, right? So I should change the UTC to my local time. So for that, I'm going to add hours less three. Why I'm, I'm, I'm subtract three hours? Because it's my time zone, right? So when I schedule here, it's supposed to be this date, this hour, and this minute on my time zone, right? So, okay, I'm going to add last three to my hour, and I will have the exactly date and time that the flow is running. Okay, so what I can do here is to format, and I'm going to format that compose for my date, just the date, how to do it. Year, 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 month, month, date, day, update. So this compose is going to be my date. I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to paste it, okay? My date now is going to be my hour. In my hour, I'm going to change this format to our hour. Okay, our hour. So this is my hour. And I'm going to have also other base action with my minute. So I'm going to change here for minute and minute. So take a look. I have my date, my hour, and my minute. Exactly what I need to filter my row, right? So now I can just insert here. SharePoint list, get items. I'm going to insert here, subscribe to my channel. That is the name of my site address. So please subscribe to my channel. My list name, that is TB scheduled emails. And I'm going to insert in filter query, the old data query. So what is the old data query? Date, date to send, right? So it's date to send. Hour to send, date to send equals, date to send equals my date, and, and, hour to send equals, in, in the hour and the minute, they are both numbers, right? So we should use the int function to convert that to integer. So I'm going to insert here int and insert my hour and minute to send equals the same inch my minute. So I have date to send equals, hours to send equals, and minute to send equals. Okay, I'm going to save that and for test if this is working, I'm going to change on the list for this exact time, 2 and 46 p.m. So let's change here, for example, this one with attachments to 40 and 46 p.m. Now I'm going to save it again just to make sure and test it if and check if when this flows runs in the 2 and 46 p.m. if it's going to work. Time, the exactly date, the exactly time, the exactly hour, exactly minute. So let's go run this flow and ta -da! I have the exactly row in the exactly date, time, and hour. The next steps here, guys, it's so basically, I'm going to do it more fast, okay? It's to send an email, right? So insert the Outlook and send an email and just fulfill with the dynamic parameters that goes from the previous step. So I'm going to insert here, the two is going to be the column recipients. It's going to do a uh, for each because I can have more than one email scheduled for the same date, hour and minute, right? So for each email scheduled, send an email with the exactly recipients and exactly subject and exactly HTML body and uh, I could create more 
I could create more uh, properties like copy and, and sensitivity, okay? So I can create on the SharePoint list and bring to the Power Automate if you need, right? The last property that we have and we want to insert here, it's the attachments, okay? The attachments, it's not that is, I need the name and the content. So how to get the attachment from that get items? I need to have a condition here to check if this item have attachments. So I'm going to insert a condition to check if have attachments, check if have attachments. And I I'm going to insert the column has attachments is equal to True. If the row have attachments, I need to get those attachments. So if have attachments, I'm going to use SharePoint. Here we're going to use get attachments, the same site, same list, and the ID going to be the exactly ID from the loop that we are doing. And that get attachments going to be all the attachments that we need to send, right? So for that, we should have an array, a variable to, of type array to insert all that attachments and send on the email. So I'm going to create a variable here, variable, initialize variable, that's going to be attachments from the row, type array, it's array of attachments, the value is going to be blank. For each attachment, I'm going to clear that variable because it's going to be a loop. So for each, I'm going to clear this variable, so set variable, value, blank, right? So I'm going to insert a blank value right here. So I'm clear the variable, I'm clearing the variable, clearing variable of attachments. After clear, I'm going to check if the row have attachments. If yes, get those attachments. For each attachment, I'm going to insert on the variable. So variable again, append to array variable. Take a look here, it's name and content as exactly what I need on the array. So I'm going to append name and content. The name going to be display name, right? Display name. And the content, I need to get those, this content with, with another step. Okay, I'm going to have here SharePoint get attachment content right here. TB schedule emails, the same ID and the file identifier. The file identifier going to be the file identifier inside this loop, right? So now with this step, I have not just the display name, but also the content, attachment content. So I have the name and the content. In this send an email, I'm going to change that attachments for this, oh, it's not content, it's content bytes, I need to change, check it out. I'm going to change content to content bytes. How you, you see that, Ronan? I click it here and I, I'm seeing here, it's exactly what I'm trying to build on that variable. So in this variable, I'm inserting the name and content bytes that I'm, I need to send right here. I just inserted the quotation marks here because when when I click here I'm seeing that we have co co quotation marks here so that's exactly what I need on my variable quotation marks here okay and also I'm inserting here after that on my send an email I can change all of that I can change all of that to my variable attachments from the row. Oof. It was not easy to get the, those attachments, right? 
we need to check if you have attachments, get those attachments, and for each attachment, for each attachment, for each attachment, get the content and append to the array variable. After that, I can send an email. And if we don't have attachment, I'm clear the variable and do nothing. So I'm going to send blank here, so no problem. Okay, let's save it and test it and see if it is working. I'm going to open here my Outlook so that we can check my inbox and see if it is working, right? Uh, and I'm going to test it, but to test it, I need to change the date, time, and minute, right? So I'm going to change here to, check, to test it. Okay. So I'm going to wait one minute right here and run it again to check if it is working. So just to make it more uh, fun, I'm going to change this one too. So I'm going to change both of them and I'm going to change this job to one email and second email. So we can see it on, on my inbox after we run it, okay? So let's go, let's test it again manually. Test it, run flow, done, let's wait for it. Oops, something not goes pretty well. The first email worked because it's, uh, it, the problem was with the attachments. Let's check it out, what, what happened here. Oh, so I sent the wrong item ID here. So let's go back and edit that. So that ID is not the right ID. I just uh, inserted the wrong one. I need to get the ID for, from that for each. So when I go dynamic here, it's that ID. The problem is on the function. He's, he's using the item, but the item is for, for the inside loop. I need to get to use in items and insert that name right here for each. So it's going to be items for each ID. I'm, I'm saying here that I want to get from that loop the ID of the item, right? Like this one. I'm going to save here and run it again with both of them. Let, let me delete this email so we can see the both of them working again. So let's change my minutes. I'm going to do it pretty faster. Um, it's 57 right now and run it again. So I'm going to manually run this flow down. And now I think that both of the emails work. Let's check it out and ta-da! I have the first email without attachments with my custom HTML and the second one with the image that I attach it to uh, the email. So you can schedule your emails and every minute the automation going to check here. And if the email is here, he going to send the email. To finish the class, you could update the sent. So mark sent. So we are going to know that these emails is already sent. So one way of doing it, pretty, pretty faster here. After they send an email, just update an item. Update item, same, same site, same list, and the ID going to be the ID, and you can change the sent to yes and save this flow. I'm going to finish this class right here. It was a difficulty class for me to record it so please consider to subscribe to this channel please to comment please comment down below your feedback and if you watch this video completed to the end comment also on your feedback the word pineapple comment pineapple on your feedback so i you know that you watched this video to the end it's a way of knowing who watched all the video and thank you so much for watching please consider to share this content so we can help more people and grow this channel See you in another video, in another class. Thank you so much and subscribe.